hello hi and namaste welcome to this another video related to cobra toolbox today we will deal with the usage of regular expression uh, in our questionnaire so let's get started so basically we will get to know how we can restrict the use of numbers in contact details in email addresses and in various fields First of all, I will continue from the last form that we created. If you have not watched the playlist yet, please go back to my Kobo Toolbox playlist and watch other videos. First of all, I will click on this edit icon. Then let us add one field at the top of the questionnaire. Let's say it test email addresses, email address. Let's add a question then let's make the format as text and click on this setting gear let's make it compulsory and we will now give some validation criteria for it if you simply leave this then anything will be accepted but i want it in the form of at the red gmail.com so for that i'll go to validation criteria then see manual interior validation logic in xls form code so click on this then we have to write the validation code then if you want to display any error message when the user enters uh, invalid response let us assume i want email uh, in the form john one two three at the red gmail.com let's write it regex this then we will write this one let's open then for example i want small letter capital letter and numbers and now we will have at the rate sign so at the rate sign can be written with this and we want gmail.com every time so we can do with gmail.com then let's close that and the last character without occupying any extra characters indication so this please enter valid gmail id let's save this and see if let's see if it works click john one two three at the rate if enter please enter valid valid gmail id if you write gmail dot then it's the same error message will display if i write co same if i write dot com then it is still displaying the same message right so let's go back and check what went wrong we had okay so see we had just if we don't write anything then it is by default taken as one character so we have to write something else so if i write plus then it understands one or more characters of uppercase lowercase or the digits so it, it should work now let's save this and now let's check our format john123 at the rate gmail.com see it is working no error message is displayed i can now nicely go on to the next section of the questions uh, but if i write this much then it accepts but let me twist this and write john dot smith then see it's not accepting let's correct it and if we save this and let's preview 
let's write john dot smith at the rate cml dot com see it's accepted if i write one two three it's still accepted if i write smith underscore then it's accepted if i write one hyphen then it is still accepted but if i write here ahoo.com then it's not accepted let's make this work so now let's make it in a way that it will accept ahoo.com edu dot something dot org and so on for that we'll write regex If we save this, let's check if it works. I'm going to check for John at the way Gmail. It works for Gmail. It works for Yahoo. Let's write for words. It works for ORG. If I write take, then it still works. If I write John123, it works. If I write John one two three dot smith it it works if I write underscore then it is still working so this is for testing email address it's then now let's go with the contact number part that let's try for any random digit right any random digit so it can be from 0 to 9 sorry 0 to 9 and it should be 10 digit in total let's close this let's write dollar to indicate the end of the string and let's close this sorry let's close this let must be 10 digit number in total that is all. now let's check this contact number part view eight let's go down to contact section okay here we are let's try to write it see mobile number b 10 digit number in total so this it does not accept the text part but let's write it as number it accepts but if i write here eight if i write a seven it does not accept because it's exceeding the total digit number so now it accepts one two three four five six seven eight nineteen but if i write here one it still accepts but now let's make this in such a way that it starts from nine and the total number is so for that we'll write starting 9 and the following digits can be anything between 0 to 9 see this 9 if we don't write anything it is regarded as single digit so one digit 9 and the remaining digit should be 9 so it is total 10 digit in total let's check this Okay. see must start with a 9 and be 10 digit in total but we are starting with 8 let's replace this with 9 then let's enter so it's accepted so after 9 you can write anything but it has to be 10 digit in total okay.